Naruto was born on the night of October 10th to Minato Namikaze, the fourth Hokage, and Kushina Uzumaki, the second Jinchuriki of the Nine Tales. He was named after Naruto Musasabi, the protagonist of Jiraiya's first book, which made the Sanin his godfather. The third Hokage made special arrangements for Minato to preserve Kushina's seal containing the Nine Tales while she gave birth to Naruto in a remote location, assisted by midwives and Umbu. A masked man, Tobi, tracked down their location, however, killed the midwives and Umbu, and captured Naruto, forcing Minato to quickly rescue him and teleport him to a safe house. With Minato gone, Tobi captured Kushina and released the Nine Tails from her, using it to devastate Kanoha. Minato saved Kushina and left Naruto in her care before he went to protect the village, eventually defeating Tobi and freeing the Nine Tails from Tobi's control. Returning to Naruto and Kushina's location, Minato realized the only way to stop the Nine Tails was to seal it within Naruto, believing that his son would someday need the fox's power to defeat Tobi when he returned. Since the Nine Tails chakra was too immense to be sealed into an infant, Minato sacrificed his soul to split the fox's chakra in half, sealing the Yin half within himself and the Yang half within Naruto. After telling Naruto how much they loved him, Minato and Kushina succumbed to their wounds from protecting their son from the Nine Tails and passed away. Orphaned, and not having anyone else to provide for him, Naruto received monthly income from the village in order to afford daily necessities. Naruto grew up not knowing who his parents were, receiving only his mother's surname, as Haruzen wanted to protect Naruto from his father's enemies. Minato's dying wish that Naruto be regarded as a hero was honored by the very few who could put aside their pain and losses caused by the disaster, while the majority of Konoha, however having no knowledge of the circumstances surrounding his birth, openly ostracized and resented Naruto for containing the beast that devastated the village and took many lives, some even viewed Naruto as the Nine Tails itself. Soon, the third Hokage forbade anyone from mentioning the Nine Tails, hoping that the younger generation would not blindly hate Naruto as their parents did. However, Naruto's peers emulated their parents' hatred of him, despite not knowing why. This social isolation caused Naruto to crave acknowledgement, which he would gain by pulling pranks. On the day of his enrollment in the Ninja Academy Naruto first met Hinata Hyuga, who was being picked on by three bullies. Despite not knowing her, Naruto immediately came to her defense, but he was outnumbered and knocked unconscious, and the bullies damaged his red scarf. When Naruto awoke, Hinata thanked him for helping her and returned his scarf to him, but he let her keep it. He was unaware that the girl's growing affection for him began at that moment. In the academy, Naruto became a student of Iraka Yumino, who acted as a surrogate older brother to keep him in line and help him work harder. Naruto also met his classmate Sasuke Uchiha and tried to befriend him, since Sasuke was alone as well. Jealous of Sasuke's skills and popularity, however, he developed a one-sided rivalry in his pursuit to prove himself just as good as, if not better than, Sasuke, wishing that someday, Sasuke would accept him as an equal. Naruto also grew close with the owner of Ramen Ichiraku, Tuchi and his daughter Ayam, being welcomed as their favorite customer. Naruto is noted as boisterous, exuberant, and unorthodox, quite similar to Hashirama Senju. He inherited his mother's verbal tick, as he ends his sentences with Databeo, when emotional. Though he responds best to competition and is not afraid to ask for assistance, Naruto is relatively naive and slow to understand principles or situations. He often requires an oversimplified analogy in order to grasp explanations and can even prove forgetful. Naruto is aware of his faults and admits he acts strong to mask his embarrassment and frustration about them. Despite his naivety, Naruto can be quite observant, picking up on things others miss and retaining information casually gathered through conversation. Growing up as an orphan who suffered years of hatred and social isolation has influenced Naruto's character in a number of ways. He is heedless to formality and social standings, addressing certain people with nicknames instead of honorifics, although by the time of his adulthood, Naruto has slightly outgrown this trait. He has picky eating habits of ramen, his favorite food, he has a perverted side that manifests as attempts to peep into women's baths, although these moments are rare. Despite his quirks and the criticism they earn him, Naruto is said to have a personality that draws people to him, inspiring friendship and loyalty through acts of genuine kindness that could change a person's worldview and thus build meaningful relationships that he lacked in early life. The Sage of Six Paths believes Naruto's kindness is a special gift that allows him to save Kurama from its hatred. 
Naruto deeply cherishes these bonds and will go to great lengths to protect them. Best seen was Sasuke after his defection from Konoha. Naruto's time at the Falls of Truth revealed that a part of him hated the villagers for ostracizing him, only to admire him after he saved them during Pain's assault. Upon confronting it, he learned to be at peace with it, willingly becoming greater than what he suffered. Another of Naruto's prominent traits is his desire for acknowledgement. His pranks around the village were for people to notice him, even if it meant by scolding him. Therefore, he dreamed of one day becoming Konoha's Hokage, the epitome of acknowledgement and respect from everyone in the village. Knowing his dream is a long, arduous, and seemingly impossible path, Naruto developed his own nindo of never going back on his word. This lifelong philosophy serves as the cornerstone of Naruto's great self-confidence. He believes he can accomplish any goal with enough hard work and perseverance. No matter what. This trait guides him in many aspects of life, such as his promise to bring Sasuke back to Konoha. Over time, his goal to be Hokage grew from a desire for the acknowledgement of others to a desire to help and protect the people close to him, which Tobi attributed to the will of fire. His nindo has since been reinforced by his understanding that shinobi were meant to endure through hardships. His belief in hard work and perseverance made him detest shortcuts to achieving, as he disqualified his son from the chunin exams for using the band kote, and expressed disgust at Mamashiki and Kinshiki Atsutsuki for their reliance on harvesting from chakra fruits to lazily gain power. After the death of his master Jiraiya, talking to his father Minato and listening to Nagato's tragic story, Naruto grew to understand the destructive cycle of hatred and he vowed to break it in order to bring true peace to the world. To that end, his participation in the Fourth Shinobi World War is not only to protect his friends but also to bear and erase the world's hatred all by himself. After encountering a reincarnated Itachi Uchiha, however, Naruto realizes that he cannot handle everything alone and that he must allow his friends to support and fight alongside him. As he does so in war's climax, his fighting spirit inspires the allied shinobi forces to join him and keep fighting to end the war as well, ultimately becoming an example for many people to admire, follow, and believe in.